Hello everyone and welcome. Um, my name is Daniel and this is the newsletter for Nordic Anglers. Today I'm going to show you some of the new fly tying stuff and, uh, and, and some other stuff that are new in the shop or at least are new to me and, and stuff that I have been tested out and, and really, really thinks are awesome. So the first thing I want to show you is the Arix Flexi Stripper. The Arix Flexi Stripper is this uh, a cool little gadget to keep control of all, all the all the running line and all the line whilst you're fishing, so so you don't get as many tangles and stuff like that. The the really neat thing about this one is it has these uh, it has a lot of a lot of pointy stickers um, mounted on here. They will they will stick up from all the holes here, and this will will enable you to have it on your waist and then uh, then control all the all the loose lines. Um, uh, this is a product from from Arix, and it's a really really good one. It's a really good alternative for the uh, for the for the uh, for the stripping basket for the line basket, and um, because this is uh, this is more versatile and can be used uh, a lot easier when you're fishing in streams or fishing for salmon or or fishing on a lake or in a boat or or stuff uh, along those lines. So uh, flexi stripper now available in three awesome awesome new colors: the black one with the with the red uh, the red pointers are are really really a best selling item but also the pink with clear and the tan with clear are are selling great as well so uh, so swing by nordic anglers to see all the all the different uh, colors and styles and and stuff uh, from from Arix, uh, uh, and also yeah <laughs> see all the hooks but also the the flexi stripper which is uh, the new one um, at least the colors are new so so a great cool product available now in four colors the next thing <clears throat> I want to show you are these. We've just received an enormous amount of, uh, of hackles from Ewing. Ewing is, is a great uh, hackle company uh, from the US, a genetic hackle company that makes a lot of very nice capes, a lot of very nice saddles. And, and we have a really, really wide selection of these. Um, and when, when waxing is as hard to come by as it is, then it's nice to have uh, something else. The price range of this is lower than waxing, but the quality is, is very, very good. These are the, the new um, Deceiver patches. I keep forgetting that name. Uh, Deceiver patches. And what these are is actually a piece, of the, um, a, a piece from, from a hem. And so it's not a full cape. But it's all the right size of feathers for woolly buggers, for uh, saltwater flies, for for salmon flies, and 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 stuff like that. And what's really really neat is you get a a large piece of uh, a large amount of feathers in a high quality, at a very very reasonable price. Also, Ewing are the only ones, uh, to my knowledge at least, that actually bleaches grizzly. And this color here is is what a bleached grizzly looks like. So. Um, so so uh, so they make some really really unique products, and they also die on top of these uh, these bleached grizzly. So for instance, uh, so for shrimp patterns and stuff like that, these colors are unique and they are just awesome. This is a, a, a bleached grizzly dyed tan, but also one of my all time favorite is this one, the bleached grizzly dyed olive. The color here, how the how the markings from the grizzly just turns this brownish color. It's just really awesome. So so great great value for money. Um, and this is just one of the items that, uh, that that we have from Ewing. Ewing makes a ton of cool cool stuff. They have some great um, some great dry fly capes as well. I've been using some of these uh, for some upcoming uh, upcoming videos. Um, and uh, and just overall a uh, great quality. Um, if if you look at it one if you look at it then whiting is as as a general rule a, a better quality but but the price on whiting and the availability of whiting is also uh, very it's it's very hard to get any whiting uh, at this moment in time so 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 these are great great value for money products um, and and if you're just tying, you know, streamers and stuff like that, you won't notice the difference. The difference from whiting to ewing is primarily on the dry fly saddles and uh, you know, on the dry fly capes, where whiting is just out of this world. Ewing is still great, but whiting is is on a level on its own. Um, the next thing I want to show you is is to all you salmon fishermen out there, or all you who fish with the, with a monofilament shooting line. Um, this is my uh, my faithful uh, and and reliable Einasen reel. 
And, uh, and these reels are produced and designed in Iceland. They are uh, some of the best quality I've seen. They are uh, full frame reels, which means that the, um, that the reel here actually has a complete frame. <laughs> so your running line cannot get uh, caught in between the spool and, uh, and, the, and the housing. Um, so these are perfect for, for monofilament lines. It's, it's, it's outstanding quality. Uh, this reel, I've been fishing with this for four years, caught some salmon, really pleased with this. But what's new about this reel is that the pricing has changed. So they have dropped very significantly in, in price. So if you're in the market for um, the best quality you can get of fly reels, especially for, for salmon, then, then swing by Nordic Anglers to see these Einarsons reels because uh, they just got even better compared to, uh, compared to the price. Awesome, awesome gear this is. And also, I, I, I just love the design of these. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is reels from the, the highest shelf. Um, yeah, and now the price is really, really uh, a lot better or a lot cheaper than, than what they usually were. They were no problem selling before, but they're selling even better now. So the last thing I want to show you is, um, is is a product that I have been using for the past four or five trips, something like that. Um, this is the uh, the Sims uh, Extreme Jacket, hooded Extreme Jacket, and I really, really just have fallen completely for this uh, for this jacket. It is uh, it is um, it's filled with uh, Primer Loft which is a highly insulating material that also keeps insulating uh, even if it gets wet. So, um, so the, the way that this is and, and just the way it feels, it's, it's, it's the, best, um, the best feel I've had of a, of a jacket of, of, of this type. Um, also, if, if, I'm only have, if I only have a t-shirt underneath here, um, it's, it's not too fancy with the details. It has some really great performing uh, pockets here. That are that are located fairly high up on the jacket, which means uh, and they're they're deep, so you won't drop accidentally drop your phone or anything. It has this small uh, front pack uh, uh, front pocket here, and and it's really really stowable. So you can you can fold this down so it almost uh, um, uh, it takes up no room in your bag or, or whatever. But also. Um, it's it's really good for under your waders, but it's also a, a fairly nice and uh, and decent looking jacket you can use you know for basically when you're when you're out there and and around, um, not only for for fishing. So overall, um, the uh, the Sims uh, Extreme jacket here, I like the hooded version a lot. It, it's available in a non hooded version as well, but I like the one with the hood uh, a lot. Is is. Uh, Absolutely amazing product, um, available in, in, in a really nice bronze that my colleague Martin likes a lot. Uh, I like this blue one, but it's also available in black. So uh, again, uh, to see all of these swing by Nordic Anglers, we have them all and we are very, very happy with, uh, with this, uh, this extreme jacket. Well, I think that about sums it up for now. Um, um, as I said, um, it's, it's spring out there now. The salmons are running, at least here in Denmark. The sea trouts are really, really moving. There's going to be a ton of garfish in a second. And, and, uh, and the pikes are almost done spawning. So, so, you know, all the opportunities is there. There is a, just a lot of good fishing to be had just now. Uh, so, so get out there. Um, but before you do that, swing by Nordic Anglers to see all the stuff I, I just talked about. Um, otherwise, um, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And um, yeah, nothing left to say, but good luck out on the water. Thank you for watching.